Hello and welcome to Earth Unplugged. Today I've come to Bristol Zoo for another cheap shot challenge, this time to photograph birds in close-up on my smartphone for less than £20. We'd love to see your shots too, so do share them with us at Earth Capture. We'll put a link for that at the end of the film. So one of the simplest ways to get really lovely shots of birds is just to get a bit closer to them by increasing your focal length, which you can do with a handy pair of binoculars. Yep, we're right on top of a bird right there. One of the lovely Inca turns. It can be a little bit fiddly just trying to get the phone right in the centre of the binoculars, but I've got a little trick for that too. So to help line my smartphone up with my binoculars, I've made a little cardboard mount. If you want to see how it works and check out the blueprints, just pause the video now. The other thing about having the cardboard mount is that it allows you to be a fixed distance from the front of that binocular lens, which means we should get rid of some of that tunnel vision. The trouble with shooting at a higher magnification is that it can seem a little bit shaky when you're freehand like this. And not everyone has a tripod, but there's an easy hack to that as well. If you brace the strap of the binoculars against your neck, that should give you a bit of extra stability. And you get a nice, steady shot. Brilliant. A couple of quid for a bit of cardboard and borrowing a set of binoculars, that's a pretty nice shot. So one of the real beauties of smartphones over larger cameras like DSLRs is that they're tiny and they're really discreet and you can pop them down somewhere without disturbing the wildlife. I'm going to pop a couple of bulldog clips on here that act as a mini tripod and then just pop it down. That looks about right. I've seen these birds kind of move back and forth through here. So it's great to have a discreet, tiny device to take your photo, but actually if I'm there to trigger the camera, that kind of defeats the object. So the great thing about these kind of devices is that you can link them remotely through Wi-Fi. So I've got an app here called Wi-Fi Camera, but you can use others like ManyThing, and there's a few out there. I can see remotely what the other camera is seeing and trigger it exactly at the perfect moment. And I'll tell you what, the rule rule partridges are coming through. The most extraordinary looking birds. They're curious too. And that is brilliant. Some of these shots are just so nice and it's a perspective you just couldn't get if I was by the camera taking the trigger. It's just fantastic. And I know we're in a tropical zoo garden where the birds look amazing and they are generally quite close. But these techniques will absolutely work in your own backyard or in a park or wherever you want to try it. Amazing. So we've got close already, but now I want to get extremely close. And for that, I'm going to use a macro clip-on lens on my phone and some food to bring them in. All we need to do oh, is wait for the birds. <laughs> the little one. So this clip-on lens just costs about seven pounds. You've got a wide angle of fisheye and the macro lens. <laughs> for that ultimate close-up. So the rainbow lorikeets are obviously very bold birds and I ordinarily wouldn't get this close, but we could use some of those techniques from before and just leave a camera here very close to the birds and using this macro lens, it's perfectly in focus. So there you have it, some simple, affordable ways to get some amazing bird shots without having to spend loads of cash on expensive equipment. We'd love to see your shots too and see what kind of tricks you have. So fire us a comment below and do share your photos with us at Earth Capture and we'll see you next time at Earth Unplugged. I would like to see an incredibly detailed, beautiful slow motion shot of a barn owl getting its prey. Today I've got another brilliant cheap shot challenge, this time to get a bird's eye view. And that means making a drone for less than 50 quid. <laughs> it's looking pretty cool.